overheard God's servant was blowing the trumpet. And he was teaching some important factors that we need to pay attention to as Christians. Because as Christians, the reason why um, um, there is lukewarmness in the church, it is because we have lost that burden and that fire for God. The devil slap your body. What happened? Eh? Have you lost your own fire too? People don't always be like that. Pretty people just sit down. You rain. You ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne, you reign, you reign, you reign, please come, stop. Jesus King, God you are mighty on your shoes. You reign, you reign, unto them to be stand, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Amen. Let's sit down from there. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray that as we begin to ascend in the realm of the spirit, give us divine understanding into thy word. We pray that you will communicate your word to us in the pattern and system we shall understand. We pray for the keys to unlock the secret chambers of revelation in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Now we are talking about the dangers of losing your fire. The implication of losing your fire. What it does to you when you finally realize that the fire that used to burn on your prayer altar is no longer validated. What it does to you when you realize that you have become cold in the spirit? What are the implications? What is the hand that it does to your soul? Because there is a greater implication. There is something that happens to a person when suddenly he or she realizes that the fire of prayer in his life has begun to die. So when the devil wants to kidnap or destroy someone, he first of all captures his prayer life. When your prayer life has been captured, it is the beginning of your downfall. Every effort carried out by the devil to bring down a prayer to man will become an effort in futility as long as that man maintains his spiritual consecration. So the reason why many Christians are being destroyed it is because they have allowed the fire that used to burn on their prayer altar to go down. Where is the body that always causes you to wake up by 12 midnight and pray to 3 a.m. in the morning? Where has that fire gone to? You have reduced your prayer time or to browsing time. The time you are supposed to spend and give yourself or to study of God's word and prayer, you have reduced it to, to, to TikTok. Now TikTok has consumed part of your time. The dangers of losing your prayer time. What are the implications? 
Quelles sont les implications? What are the effects? What are the consequences? Quels sont les effets et les conséquences? Because every spiritual lukewarmness has a particular consequence that it does to your soul. Parce, parce que chaque fois que tu ne pries pas, il y a les conséquences qui se passent à ton âme. Hmm. I have the potential carry fire. Listen to me. There is an implication. Il y a des implications. When you don't pray. Because each time that you don't pray, your soul is exposed to evil spirits. Chaque fois que tu ne pries pas, ton âme est exposée au mauvais esprit. So evil spirit. Dans le mauvais esprit. Evil spirit easily have access to capture a person when he doesn't maintain his prayer consecration. Les mauvais esprits ont, ont accès à ton, à ton âme lorsque tu ne pries pas. Because your soul is very delicate and exposed to spiritual manipulations. Parce que ton esprit est tellement délicat et s'est exposé aux manipulations spirituelles. The easiest thing that the devil can capture in the life of a person it is when the soul of that man becomes naked. Be yourself onto sleep and sleep is the reason why the devil will come and destroy everything you have planted for years. Tu te donnes au sommeil. Voilà, le sommeil est la raison pour laquelle le diable va aller détruire ce que tu as planté pour les années. Always, which means at all time, there is no particular time that is a time of prayer. Every time is supposed to be a time where you create spiritual portals, where you create tranquility with God. Donc tu dois te prier. Il y a pas un moment que tu dois dédier pour la prière. There is no specific time. Il n'y a pas de temps spécifique. There is no specific time. Il n'y a pas de temps spécifique. You have to restore the time. Listen, there are times that even in the toilet I am still in the spirit. Il y a des temps où lorsque je suis même au toilet, c'est toujours dans l'esprit. Because there is no specific place that is called the place of prayer. Everywhere you find expression that is conducive, it becomes an atmosphere you can dissect down the presence of the Holy Spirit. Partout où tu te trouves, tu peux toujours faire des centres le Saint-Esprit. Le père est son feu pour Dieu. There are so many of you looking at me. You know that the fire you have for God has disappeared. Il y a plusieurs d'entre vous qui me regardent que vous connaissez que le feu que vous avez pour Dieu a disparu. When you see a born again Christian start giving his or herself to to secular music, it's a sign that the devil has really captured part of the person's soul. Lorsque tu vois des de nouveaux commencer à suivre la musique mondiale, ça veut dire que la musique mondiale There are many of you are always read your status with worldly music. Il y a plusieurs d'entre vous que je vois tu vois statut avec la musique mondiale. Because your fire and your burning for God is really quenching. Parce que ton feu et ton ton fardeau pour Dieu est en train de réduire. It's really dying. Ça en train de mourir. He said men ought always to pray. Ça dit les hommes doivent prier. Listen, there is a purpose why you need to pray all the time because the devil is waiting for that particular time where you did not give yourself unto prayer. Il y a un but pour laquelle tu dois toujours prier parce que chaque moment que tu ne pries pas le diable vient. Matthieu chapitre 26 from verse 41. Matthieu chapitre 26. Matthieu 26 from verse 41. He said, "Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak." He said, "Pray." He said, "Watch and pray that ye fall not into temptation." Because one of the reasons why men easily stumbled onto temptation, it is because they were not praying at the first place. La raison pour laquelle les hommes tombent dans la tentation, c'est parce qu'ils n'étaient pas dans prier. Il s'est dit, bon, tu as prié. Dis bien, prié. That ye enter not into temptation. Afin que vous n'entrez pas dans la tentation. Listen. Temptation will always come. But what gives us what it takes to overcome temptation is our prayer consecration. Les tentations vont toujours venir, mais ce qui va nous Because the more you pray, it is the more there is a special grace that comes to find expression in you and it gives you the capacity to overcome any kind of temptation that finds expression in your life. Le plus surpris, c'est là où tu as la grâce pour vaincre les tentations. 
Jesus was 100% God, but he encountered temptation. But yet, he had a specific grace to overcome all the temptation. Why? Because he was a man that dwells on the mountain. Jesus had all the temptation, but he He said, watch and pray. Many people are praying, but they are not watching. So it's not just all about praying, but it is your ability to watch. Ce n'est pas seulement prier, mais c'est ton habilité de veiller. So why you are praying, you are observing the seasons. Lorsque tu pries, il faut observer les saisons. You are observing the atmosphere. Tu peux observer les. You are observing the times. Tu peux observer les temps. You are observing from when the devil is finding expression into your life. Tu observes où le diable trouve expression dans ta vie. When you stop, many of your problem began the day you stop praying. Plus dans le monde, vos problèmes ont commencé au jour où vous avez arrêté de prier. So the devil came and stole your joy because you were not praying at the first place. Le diable est venu prendre ta joie parce que tu ne priais pas en première position. Some of you don't have properties, you don't have wealth, but your joy has been maintained until the day you stop praying. So the devil came and he took your joy because the devil knows that when he captured your joy away from you, there is no hope for success. Plus un de vous n'avez pas de biens, mais vous avez la joie. Le le diable est venu prendre votre joie en fait que vous payez pour. I get what I'm saying. Est-ce que vous me coupez? He said, watch and pray. Veillez et priez. That you fall not into temptation. Afin que vous ne tombez pas dans la tentation. The temptation Jesus is talking about is losing your fire for God. La tentation dont je parle, c'est perdre son feu. Losing your fire for God. So others are going to church. There are others outside. They are riding motorcycles. It's because their fire for God has disappeared. De vous en aller église, de vous en aller chercher l'argent, c'est parce que le feu pour Dieu a disparu. Where is your burden for God? Où est ton fardeau pour Dieu? Where is your burden for God? Où est ton fardeau pour Dieu? Where is that burden? So you have given the devil a legal permission to capture the body you had for God. Don't you have to know that you have been permission legal to capture the body you had for God? What empowers your body for God is your prayer life. So it's time that your prayer life has a problem. Every benefit you have in your life, your prayer life has a problem. Every benefit or spiritual benefit that comes with your prayer life disappears. Chaque fois que ta vie de prière a un problème, les bénéfices, les bénéfices qui viennent avec cela disparaissent. Avec ce quoi, avec cela, avec quoi? Be specific with your interpretation. Amen. Is someone get what I'm saying? So there are so many reasons why we pray. Il y a plusieurs raisons pour laquelle nous prions. There are so many reasons why we pray. Il y a plusieurs raisons pour laquelle nous prions. And you need to understand the reason and the purpose why we pray. Et nous devons comprendre les raisons pour les vues pour laquelle nous prions. One of them is to preserve our spiritual sanity with God. L'une des raisons c'est de vous préserver notre sanité spirituelle. Many people are falling into temptation on daily basis. The reason is because they have not given themselves unto prayer. So their spirit man is very weak. Plusieurs personnes tombent en tentation parce qu'ils ne sont pas donnés assez de prière. Their spirit man is weak. Leur homme esprit est si faible. Because they are not praying. Parce qu'ils ne prient pas. Some of you, a man of God, the things I don't like to do, I find myself doing it. The reason you are doing it is because you are not praying. Because prayer gives you the capacity to overcome them all. Homme de Dieu, les choses ne marchent pas. C'est parce que tu ne pries pas. La prière te donne la force de vaincre tout cela. I get what I'm saying. Est-ce que vous m'écoutez? Ola kai ba matose, makori ya paradisia. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 25. Matthew chapter 13, Matthew verse 25. He said, but why men slept? His enemy came and sowed tares amongst the wheat and went his way. Why men slept? Pendant que les gens dormaient. So the devil does not come during the time you are at work. Le diable ne vient pas au moment où tu es éveillé. So one of the dangers of losing your prayer fire is that the devil will always come at the time and at the season where you are not standing at the gate in order to secure the interest of citizens and of your family. 
Le diable va venir au moment où tu n'es pas placé au portail là et tu vas perdre tes intérêts de cette situation. Because one of the reasons why we came on earth is to stand as gatekeepers and as watchers over the season and over every territory that existed upon the cosmos. L'une des raisons pour laquelle nous sommes venus sur la terre, c'était pour être des veilleurs sur la terre de Lorsque les, les hommes étaient awake. On n'a pas dit lorsque les hommes étaient éveillés. So last night that you slept is the night the devil came. La nuit dernière que tu dormais, c'est la nuit où le diable est venu. You wake up in the morning, you said the documents are applied for. They rejected the documents. Why? Because you slept. Why you slept? The devil took advantage over your weaknesses and he began to destroy what you have planted. Listen, to slumber as a Christian is an offense against God. Lorsque tu dormais, le diable est venu prendre cela comme avantage et t'a détruit. Don't lose your fire for God. Ne perds pas ton feu pour Dieu. Don't lose your fire for God. Ne perds pas ton feu pour Dieu. You have put a lip, red lip, black lip, blue lip, green lip, but you are unable to pray well. You can't speak in tongues because you are scared that the green lip will disappear. Tu as mis du rouge à lèvres, tu as peur de prier afin que le rouge à lèvres ne sorte pas. Paragousa malaya. So you are afraid to pray when they get a prayer subject in church and you are being instructed to pray. You you are you you, you don't feel like praying. Because you are afraid that your makeup will we wipe off. You are in embarrassment to God. You are in embarrassment to God. There are so many things that happen to a Christian when when he realizes that his prayer life is under attack. Il y a plusieurs choses que tu n'arrives pas à faire parce que ta vie de prière est Coming to church will become very difficult. It's a sign your fire for God. You lose your fire for God. Venir à l'église devient si difficile. C'est ainsi que tu as perdu ton feu pour Dieu. When you lose your fire for God, even giving God offering will be a problem because that the love for God is not there. Lorsque tu perds ton feu pour Dieu, même donner les offrandes à Dieu devient difficile parce que ton amour avec Dieu n'est plus là. You will see giving like scam. Tu vas donner comme de la nacre. You will see pay your time like not doctrine or no, or no scripture. Tu vas payer ta dîme comme quelque chose d'injuste. Ok, ok. Amen. Comme quelque chose de quoi? De juste. Hein? C'est ça, ça. Amen. When you lose your fire for God. Lorsque tu perds ton feu pour Dieu. I'm telling you, even giving God, that is your love for God is really tampered with. There are people that sit at home and they don't go to church and you hear them making statement that though I don't go to church, they are love God. Then you can never prove to me that you don't go to church and you still have love for God. How? What's the proof? What are the evidence? What are the evidence? Il y a des gens qui restent à la maison et disent qu'ils ne partent pas à l'église, mais ils aiment Dieu. Quels sont les preuves de l'évidence? The Bible says in John 3, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son he gave, which means love is sacrifice. Some people say love is a strong feeling. No, sir. Love is sacrifice. The Bible says, Dieu a tant aimé le monde qu'il a donné son seul fils. Ça veut dire que l'amour, c'est un fils. He gave himself. He said, donné lui. Love is not a strong feeling. Can't say that. L'amour n'est pas des émotions. That is why you are saying that this person break my heart because you carry feelings and put it there. Why? Because from the origin and from the beginning you've been educated. You, you've been given the wrong definition of love. So according to your foundation, love is a strong thing. But it's not so. C'est la raison pour laquelle vous dites une personne a brisé votre cœur parce que vous avez porté des émotions à mis au milieu. So when this person, you know, you, you feel as you kill yourself, you say, no, no, if you leave me, I will die. You are foolish. It's those people who kill themselves because they said they had a breakup. You are mad. You are mad. You will go to hell. Kill yourself because someone you are going straight. You will split hell wide open. It's a foolish man and a foolish woman who be saying that if you leave me, I will die. Die now. You are mad. Die for what for? For a man or for a woman? Tu me vois de grâce. For waiting. Pourquoi? Why? Live your life. Vive ta vie. Say I go die. For what? Tu It's because. Do you know why they are saying like that? Because they have the wrong definition of love. Parce qu'ils ont la mauvaise définition. Because according to them, love is a feeling. 
Parce que selon oh, l'amour, c'est un sacrifice. L'amour, c'est du sacrifice. So you can't tell me you love God, you cannot sacrifice to come to His presence. But you tell me you have love for God. How come? Give me the definition. Tu peux me, tu peux pas me dire que tu aimes Dieu, mais tu peux pas venir dans sa présence. Donne-moi la définition. He said, "Though I don't go to church, but I'm a Christian." What proves the Christian in the days of the apostles they went to church in order to give God praise? Are you sitting in the house with what television? Les chrétiens ont tapé des apôtres de partout à l'église. Partout à l'église. Ah bon? Are you getting what I'm saying? Est-ce que vous m'écoutez? Say do I don't go to church, but I love God. How? Je ne parle pas à l'église, mais j'aime Dieu. Comment? God loves you that He sacrificed, He gave Himself, and He died. Dieu t'a aimé, il a sacrifié. Il a sacrifié, il t'a donné. Il you will say you love God, your offering you can't give, your time you can't give, first fruit you can't give, contribution for church you can't give. Then what at the evidence? What do you have on ground as a legal proof that you have offered thy sacrifice and thy love for God? Tu aimes Dieu, mais tu ne peux pas payer ta dîme, tu ne peux pas payer les offrandes. Mais quelle est la preuve que tu aimes Dieu? What are the evidence? You can't make sacrifices. Tu ne peux pas faire des sacrifices. You sit in the house that you love God. Tu restes à la maison que tu aimes Dieu. It's dangerous when you lose your fire. Listen, accident can pick you at any time when your fire for God has disappeared. L'accident peut te prendre à tout moment lorsque ton feu pour Dieu a disparu. It's time you see people sleeping in church all the time. Check it where their fire for God is under attack. Chaque fois que tu vois les gens dormir à l'église, regardez bien, c'est parce que leur feu est sur la table. Par la cataille. If there is one thing I pray never to happen to me, let my prayer fire never disappear. Si il y a une chose que je prie, ça ne va pas me dire que ma vie de prière ne s'éteigne pas. Par as ombre catalia carahosia, ma capuria talava, ali curia matali. That's why even if you are in the kitchen speaking in tongues, someone gets what I'm saying. The more you speak in tongues, is the more it regenerates your your prayer fire. The more you speak in tongues, is the more it builds up your prayer altar. Plus tu parles à la gloire, plus tu bâtis ton hôtel. You are washing dresses, and you know you will be there for two hours. Can you compare that two hours of washing, that two hours of communion with God? Tu as de laver les habits, peu. Tu veux, tu ne peux pas convertir ces deux heures à un moment d'adoration. Washing dresses. Tu te donnes le temps de te pour laver les habits et les heures perdues. You can be washing your dresses and be washing God at the same time. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Are you? You are washing. You you are washing dresses and washing dresses at the same time. Tu as de laver les habits et les heures perdues en même temps. Hallelujah, Papa. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make a mess of me. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make a mess of me. Somebody get what I'm saying? There are many of you who are under the 
the influence of masturbation. Why? Because when you lose your fire for God, the devil took advantage and he struck you with a satanic weakness. Et à tous avant de vous vous êtes sur l'influence de la masturbation parce que vous avez perdu beaucoup de feu et Satan vous a mis sur faiblesse. Lama kata via palata. Listen, the cause of your weaknesses is a lack of prayer. La cause de ta faiblesse, la cause, c'est manque de prière. The cause of your bad character is the lack of prayer. La cause de ton mauvais comportement, c'est la cause du manque de prière. Listen, the lack of prayer opens demonic windows and gates for the devil to navigate within the corridors of your destiny and begin to manipulate it. Le manque de prière ouvre les portes et les portails de ta, de ta destinée pour que le diable contrôle ça. Listen to me. There are many of these young girls that are keeping little small, small boyfriends in school. It's a lack of prayer fire. Il y a plusieurs de ces petites filles qui gardent les petits de copains à l'école sur le du manque de feu. The lack of prayer destroy your love for God. Manque de prière détruit ton amour pour Dieu. And David said, Thy word have I hidden, no place. That man is there. He said, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Qu'est-ce que j'ai caché dans mon cœur que je ne veux pas pécher contre toi? Thy word, thy word, ta parole, have I hidden in my heart que j'ai caché dans mon cœur that I may not sin against you. Que je ne veux pas pécher contre toi. Salabarato, c'est Dieu. Mark chapter 13, verse 33. Mark chapter 13, verse 33. He said, Take heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. You don't know the time that the devil comes with his satanic influence in order to heal you under his government. Tu ne connais pas le jour où Satan vient avec ses manifestations, Satan vient vous donner sa force. That each time you don't fast, the willpower of the flesh becomes very strong. Je vous ai dit la dernière fois que chaque fois que tu ne jeûnes pas, la force de la chair devient si forte. Any time you don't pray, oh. Chaque fois que tu ne pries pas. Watch and pray for you know not when the time is. Veillez et priez parce que vous ne connaissez ni le jour ni le. You don't know the time and the season that the devil will come in order to lay his eggs in your life. Tu ne connais pas le jour où le diable va venir pondre ses œufs dans ta vie. Watch and pray for you don't know the time that the devil has orchestrated accident. The reason why your uncle died, you are the cause because you were ordained. Tu es là en sens à laquelle ton oncle est mort de l'accident. C'est parce que Dieu t'a mis comme intercesseur et tu n'étais pas là pour prier. Some of you, your father died a premature death because you refused to awake up to your responsibility as, as an intercessor and to blow the trumpet of war from the east so you can secure the entire family. Donc, à tous vos parents sont morts des morts précoces parce que vous n'étiez pas là pour sonner la trompette. Je lâche une mort. Woman, femme, your marriage is under manipulation because you are supposed to be the gatekeeper to secure the interest of that home. But instead of being the gatekeeper, you have given open a window and a door for the devil to find expression in your home and to scatter it. Vos mariages sont sur attaque parce que vous n'étiez pas les meilleurs pour veiller sur vos mariages. Vous avez pu nous laisser les portes et les fenêtres ouvertes pour le diable plus attaquer. When you speak in tongues, you are, you are, you are, you are raising surveillance. You are taking precaution over your entire family. Lorsque tu parles en anglais, tu as mis parmi les précautions sur toute ta famille. When you speak in tongues, you have included your entire family into your prayers. Lorsque tu parles la langue, tu as inclus toute ta, toute ta famille dans tes prières. Because speaking in tongues go beyond your imagination. Parce que parler la langue n'est pas plus que ton imagination. Some of you, your frontal headache. Please, move a little bit far from me. Some of you, your frontal headache came as a result of your inability to be consistent with prayers. That is why your frontal headache, the emergence of your problem came because you were not standing at the gate. 
Seigneur, nous avons besoin de mal et est venu parce qu'on ne sait pas au portail. Look chapter 21 from verse 36. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. It said, What ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. In other words, pray in order to be clothed with the fire of resistance. So you can be clothed with the fire of resistance. When the devil comes to tempt you, will you be able to stand? Listen, a man who can pray can stand before a naked woman and is not afraid. Listen to me. It is very, very difficult to seduce a man whose prayer altar is very strong. Yes, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to manipulate a woman whose prayer altar is very solid. It's very difficult. And that was why when Jesus went to the mountain and came back, please somebody give my mic. And Did you please keep my mind? So when Jesus went to the mountain and returned, as they found the apostle sleeping, now he has seen and returned, they were still sleeping. And then he said unto them, and he said, Watch and pray. For ye know not the time. Parce que vous ne connaissez pas le Watch and pray. Veillez et priez. And you fall not in the temptation. Afin que vous ne tombez pas dans la tentation. So the reason why the devil overcome you is because there is no strength of prayer. La raison pour laquelle le diable vient te vaincre, c'est parce que tu n'as pas encore un prière. Si tu n'as pas encore un prière, il faut le une spirituelle énergie. Chaque fois que je te donne la prière, tu as de générer l'énergie spirituelle. Nous opérons sur l'autel de la prière. Le diable génère la force sur la Le diable génère l'énergie sur la force de la prière. Et nous aussi, en tant qu'enfants de Dieu, nous générons notre force sur l'autel de prière. So when you are not prayerful, where is the force that empowers your altar? Lorsque tu ne pries pas, quelle est la force qui a été de la puissance de ta autorité? As a student, having advanced level is not is not a definition that you have overcome. En tant que en tant qu'élève, avoir le baccalauréat ne signifie pas que tu as vaincu. The devil can still come in order to manipulate the process. Le diable peut toujours venir et manipuler la processus. There are so many of you, you wrote advanced level well and you were confident to have certain papers, but the result came out to be the impossible. You cannot understand because when you wrote advanced level, you went to sleep, so the enemy came and night he to attack and manipulated the process. Il y a plusieurs d'entre vous qui savent comment vous battre. Vous avez su sur des résultats, mais vous ne comprenez pas ce qui s'est passé. Et parce que le diable est venu manipuler ça. When you slept in night, in dream, lorsque tu dormais la nuit, il est venu. Because the devil will not destroy when you are awake in prayer. Parce que le diable ne va pas venir détruire lorsque tu es éveillé en prière. I am telling you where some of your problems came from. Et je vous dis où d'autres d'autres de vos prières problèmes sont venus. How some of your problems regenerated. Comment d'autres de vos problèmes ont régénéré. Because you are overcome. Parce que tu as trop confiance en toi. The Bible says, have no confidence in the flesh. La Bible dit, ne faut pas avoir confiance en la chair. They don't know their God. They don't know their God. Mais ceux qui connaissent leur Dieu, they shall be strong. Ils seront forts. And they shall do exploit. Ils vont exploiter. How do you know God when you don't pray? Comment est-ce que tu connais Dieu lorsque tu ne pries pas? 
Amen. The only protocol that educates us on the personality of God is on the altar of prayer, the altar of sacrifice. Le, le seul protocole qui nous apprend à personnaliser le Dieu, c'est sur le thème de prière. Le Is somebody get what I'm saying? Est-ce que vous m'écoutez? Oh, la katapaya tata. Robotokope la katata. Is somebody get what I'm saying? Tell him, say, wake up from your slumber. Dieu a ton voisin, lève ton. Say, wake up from your sleep. Lève de ton sommeil. Wake up from your sleep. Lève de ton sommeil. Listen, when you are consistent at the altar of prayer, you don't need Allah to remind you that Holy Spirit taps you. It's time for prayers. Lorsque tu es constant dans le temps de prière, il n'aura tu n'auras besoin de personne pour te réveiller de de prier. How I wish you can know what prayer can do for you. Comment je suis sûr pour vous connaître comme ce que la prière vous fait pour vous. There are things prayer can do for you that money cannot do for you. Il y a des choses que la prière peut faire pour vous que l'argent ne peut pas faire. There are people that if you put money and prayer, they are going to choose money. Il y a des gens que tu mets entre l'argent et la prière, ils vont choisir l'argent. Listen to me, prayer has the capacity to generate money in the spirit. La prière a la capacité de générer l'argent dans les. The Bible says, "Call it for the things that be not as though they were." It takes only prayer for man to call for the things that be not as though they were. It's like prayers. Calling forth. I believe you. Calling forth. Jesus. Calling forth the things that be not as though they were. I thought we have two interpreters in church. Should I buy all of them? Somebody help her now. Also help her. Where is she? Help her. She's trying. Saka barato sebe. She has even grown than I thought. Abalatos. Now listen to this. Listen, 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 listen. There are so many reasons why we pray. There are so many reasons why we pray. Now the challenge is we have to reduce the original purpose of prayer onto persuading God. Nous avons réduit le but originel de la prière à Charles euh, et pour aussi Dieu à nous. Le premier but pour la prière, pour la prière, c'était euh, pour avoir la communion entre l'homme et Dieu. Was never meant to or force God to give you la prière n'était jamais faite pour forcer Dieu de nous donner quelque chose. That's not the reason of prayer. C'est pas la raison pour laquelle la prière. Bible says all things are yours. Parce que la Bible dit que tout que toutes choses appartiennent à l'homme. Genèse chapitre 1 verset 26. Il a dit à l'homme que va dans le monde et aide la domination. Va posséder tout ce qui se trouve sur la terre. Dieu a dit que tout tu touches toutes les choses t'appartiennent. Et tu es encore retourné sur terre. Et tu es en train de demander à Dieu, j'ai besoin de la maison. J'ai besoin des voitures. Et Dieu est du genre. Est-ce que c'est ce que celui qui ne comprend pas les écrits? Est-ce que ça veut dire que cet homme ne comprend pas ma parole? Parce que c'est un tabou de demander les choses que Dieu t'avait déjà données avant le commencement de cet homme. Que toutes choses m'appartiennent. Donc la prière, ce n'est pas de demander les choses à Dieu, mais d'avoir cette communion avec lui. Parce que toutes les choses t'ont déjà été données. Donc la prière maintenant est de parler à Dieu et de recevoir des guidances principales. Policies, laws, and instruction on how to manage what He has already given to you. Et la prière maintenant c'est d'avoir les lois et les régulations de pouvoir gérer les choses que Dieu t'avait déjà donné. You are not getting what I'm saying. Vous ne m'écoutez pas. Prayer. La prière. It's now to receive guiding principles. Il s'agit maintenant de recevoir les lois et les régulations. Instructions. Les instructions. On how to guide. Comment guider. To guide us to manage what He already gave to us. Comment nous faire gérer les choses qu'il nous a déjà donné? I cannot ask God for a car. Je ne peux pas demander une voiture à Dieu. I guess what I'm saying. Qu'est-ce que vous m'écoutez? 
If you like, come and be asking God for a car. Yeah. Si tu veux pas, il demande la voiture à Dieu. The Bible says, calling it in the spirit. La Bible dit qu'il faut appeler ces choses dans l'esprit. Ça dit, exist in the spirit. Ça dit, ça existe déjà dans l'esprit. When it can call it in the spirit. Si tu veux une voiture, il appelle cela dans l'esprit. Develop capacity. Il faut développer la capacité. To manage one and it's to give it to you. De pouvoir gérer une chose et ça. If somebody can do what I'm saying now. Est-ce que tu veux qu'on écoute? Apparat aussi. Oh God, I need a husband. I need a husband. You don't need to ask God. You need a husband. He knows you need a husband, and He has given to you everything, including a husband. pas besoin de demander à un mari à Dieu parce qu'il a déjà donné ce mari. You don't pray to have a good husband. Tu ne pries pas d'avoir un bon époux. You behave in a good way to attract a good husband. Tu te comportes d'une façon bien pour pouvoir attirer un bon époux. Husband is not a prayer subject. Un mari ce n'est pas un sujet de prière. Wife is not a prayer subject. Une femme n'est pas un sujet de prière. Develop good character. Il faut développer les bonnes If many girls were pursuing God the way they are pursuing men, they would have attracted a God-given husband. Si tous les filles poursuivaient Dieu comme ils poursuivent les hommes, ce qui devait attirer les bonnes filles. Some girls are too desperate. Certaines filles sont très desperate. Every man they see that looks good, fair and handsome, they wants to get in touch with that man. Tout gars qui est très mignon et très bon, ils veulent avoir quelque chose à y voir avec cet homme. Let them relax now. Que calmez-vous même non. This thing you are seeing is flesh. Ce que vous voyez là c'est la chair. The real person is the spirit. Le la vraie personne c'est l'esprit. The man can be handsome but he carries an ugly spirit. Un homme peut être très mignon mais il porte une esprit très. So be very careful and watchful. Donc il faut faire très attention et veiller. That's what the Bible says. Watch and pray. Le nom pour lequel la Bible dit faut veiller et prier. So you don't miss your seasons. Afin de ne pas Some of you have missed your seasons because you don't pray. Certaines personnes ont déjà perdu les saisons parce qu'ils ne prient pas. There is, there is this my daughter. I don't want to make mention. I don't want to call name. Il y a ma fille que je ne veux pas mentionner le nom. She has a prayer point to to travel to Canada. Elle a ce sujet de prier de voyager pour le Canada. And you know. Her mother gave birth to her with her biological father. So, sa mère a couché avec son père biologique. And the man abandoned them. Et l'homme là les a abandonnés. And traveled to Canada. Et il est allé au Canada. And the the, the man who later came and gave a uh, got married to the mother. Et l'homme qui est venu après épouser sa mère. Is the woman that is the man she's seen as the father now, which is good. C'est le père euh, quel c'est l'homme qui est voit comme père. Now her biological father has been. Looking for means to create peace. Maintenant, son père biologique est en train de chercher des façons de pouvoir créer. Not because he wished to remarry her mother. He just wants to take care of his responsibility, and that they should forgive him. Mais juste prendre en charge sa responsabilité. But her mother said, "Oh, for my daughter, I'm not going to do anything. 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 I'm not going to Puisse avoir quelque chose à and you the girl. Et toi la fille. You know it's your prayer point. Tu sais que c'est ta sujet de prière. So it's about to abroad for years. C'est parti pour euh, aller prendre. And this is the opportunity and the season that God has placed before you now. Et maintenant voici l'opportunité et la saison que tu as mis. That is why the Bible says now. She was telling me yesterday that some people have lucky your chance. I said this is your own chance you have before you now you are missing it. Elle me disait hier que certaines personnes ont de la chance et moi je ne sais pas quelle chance que tu as donné. It's because People don't know how God wants to bless them. C'est parce que les gens ne connaissent pas comment Dieu veut les bénir. They are looking at a different direction, failing to understand that the blessing of God can come in disguise. Ils sont en train de chercher, ils ont regardé vers une autre direction sans savoir que les bénédictions de Dieu peuvent venir étant déguisées. I get what I'm saying. The blessing of God can come in disguise. It can come on the cover. Les bénédictions de Dieu peuvent venir étant déguisées. So look at this, my friends. They are blessed. Que regardez mes amis, ils sont très bien. Lucky for life. Ils ont la chance d'avoir. I say it's not lucky. Et je dis ce n'est pas la chance. Every man has. It's on time. Tous les hommes dans ce monde ont des problèmes. Some people took advantage of their own time and season. Why some people neglected their own? Le problème c'est que certaines personnes ont saisi leur temps et leur saison. Pourtant les autres ont négligé. And one of the reasons is because they are saying that what we people say. Et l'une des raisons c'est parce qu'ils sont en train de dire que qu'est-ce que les gens doivent dire. So you miss your time, your season, and your chance based on the factors that. On what people will say. Don't you have your time and your season based on what people will say? Now, 
Maintenant, écoutez ce qui se passe. La Bible dit que le, 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 le temps et la chance se passent à tout le monde. C'est pourquoi Jésus a dit Watch qu'il faut veiller et prier parce qu'il ne veut pas et prier. Si tu ne veilles pas et prier, quand ton temps et ta saison viennent, tu ne dois pas reconnaître. Ton temps et ta saison peuvent venir à travers un homme fou, mais tu n'as pas l'esprit du discernement pour pouvoir discerner si ça vient de Dieu ou pas. Tu n'as pas. Ça dit le temps et la chance se passe à tout un chacun. The chance that Dan got had that gave definition to his life and he became a big man. The same time and chance. Listen, many of you have missed so many opportunities to of us. Plusieurs personnes ont perdu tellement d'opportunités vrai ou faux. For example, par exemple, somebody can come. Quelqu'un peut venir. I said, give me two hundred thousand. Et quelqu'un te demande de lui donner deux cent. I want to help you. I just want to help you. I just like you. I want to help you travel to abroad. Je veux juste t'aider pour que tu puisses voyager pour aller. Maybe it's your own time that has come in disguise like a scam. Peut-être que c'est ton temps qui est venu en étant déguisé comme la mer. But since you are not on fire for God, mais puisque tu n'es pas en feu pour Dieu, you will call that man a scammer. Tu dois appeler cet homme arnaqueur. Because you don't have the spirit of discernment in order to give a definition if that man is from God or the man is coming to scam you. Parce que tu n'as pas l'esprit du discernement pour pouvoir discerner si cette si cette personne c'est un arnaqueur ou bien il vient de Dieu. So you call the man a scam. Donc tu appelles cet homme arnaqueur. You look for another person. Tu recherches une autre personne. And help. Et because maybe God spoke to him. Peut-être que parce que Dieu l'est Maybe that man was asking something from God. And God said, "Before I help you, you must sacrifice." Send three Cameroonians to America. Il faut envoyer trois Camerounais aux États-Unis. And now he comes and asks you two hundred thousand. You call him a scammer. Maintenant il vient te demander deux cent mille francs. Tu l'appelles un arnaque. Then after ten years or after five years. Et après cinq ou dix ans. You are not praying God for opening. To America. Je suis maintenant en train de prier Dieu pour les portes ouvertes pour les États-Unis. And you are seeing your friends who traveled, and you are seeing that they have good luck. Tu es en train de voir des amis qui ont saisi cette opportunité et voyagé et qui sont la chance. When they saw their own time and season or their chance, they, they, they took advantage of it. C'est parce qu'ils ont saisi l'opportunité de leur chance et de leur saison. That man you are neglecting, you don't want to get married to because he has nothing. Tomorrow, when you hear that is in abroad, you start regretting that had I know. Lorsque tu es en train de négliger et que tu ne veux pas épouser parce qu'il n'a rien pour le moment, demain quand il doit aller à l'étranger, tu dois commencer à regretter. Because you do not look beyond the man. Parce que tu n'as pas vu au-delà des deux. You saw his physical appearance at that time. Tu as vu son apparence physique à cet moment. You calculated his pocket and you you assumed that he had nothing. He doesn't have a future. You saw him with an ordinary bike. Tu as calculé tous ses poches et puis tu as supposé qu'il n'a pas de futur, il n'a rien, parce qu'il conduit une simple moto. Now he has gone to America. Maintenant il est allé aux États-Unis. You are asking people for his contact. Tu es allé demander son numéro. You are writing on Facebook. Tu l'écris à Facebook. Hello, I think about your proposal. Hello, j'ai pas, j'ai réfléchi par rapport. So you took three years to think about his proposal, eh? Tu as utilisé trois ans pour réfléchir par rapport à sa proposition, eh? The way I will block you, eh? La façon dont je dois te bloquer, non? I will block you in the realm of the spirit. I will block you. Je dois te bloquer même dans le realm de l'esprit. I'll make sure we never even meet in the spirit. Je dois faire en sorte qu'on ne se rencontre jamais même dans l'esprit. I even make sure that our prayers don't even clash in the sky. Je dois même mentionner que nos prières n'ont aucun lien dans l'esprit. Time and chance are both one of them. Le temps et la chance se passent à tout. You have your time, I have my time. Tu as ton temps, j'ai mon temps. So others took advantage of their time. You didn't take advantage of your own time. Donc les autres ont pris l'avantage de leur temps, mais toi tu n'as pas fait la même chose. You're asking yourself that is this thing really true? Tu te demandes si cette chose est vraie même vraie. That is you 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 are is on two hundred thousand you are thinking like that. Donc c'est à cause de deux cent mille que tu réfléchis comme ça. And you abandon. Et puis on doit t'abandonner. Le temps et la chance. Ça pousse sur le mort. C'est pas ça tout un chemin. And so your fire for God doesn't die. Il faut te rassurer que ton feu pour Dieu ne meurt jamais. Are you getting what I'm saying? Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Is somebody getting me? Est-ce que quelqu'un m'entend? So the Bible says that all things are yours, so you don't have any need to pray and ask God things. Donc la Bible dit que toutes choses t'appartiennent, donc tu n'as plus besoin 
Now I'm going to enlist certain factors that occur in the life of a man each time that the fire that is burning on his altar begins to quench. Maintenant je dois mentionner certaines choses qui se passent dans la vie d'un homme à chaque fois que son feu bouger commence à s'éteindre. Number one. Premièrement, you start losing interest for the things of God. Tu commences à perdre l'intérêt pour les choses de Dieu. Each time your fire for God begins to die, you lose interest. You start losing interest for the things of God. À chaque fois que ton feu pour Dieu commence à s'éteindre, tu commences à de ne plus avoir l'amour pour les choses de Dieu. You no longer have passion for the church. Tu n'as plus la passion pour l'église. Before you were so burdened, you you had the burden for evangelism. But right now. Even if they give you Bible, you are unable to convince one soul that Jesus is Lord. Avant tu avais le fardeau de de d'évangéliser, mais maintenant même quand tu es dans la vie, tu n'as pas cette capacité de pouvoir convaincre un homme dans le royaume. Because the fire of God. Parce que le feu de Dieu. That is an operation in your life has been swallowed by darkness. Qui est opérationnel dans ta vie a été avalé par les ténèbres. When you lose your fire for God, Quand you, start, ton feu pour Dieu, you start having no interest in the things of God. Tu commences ne plus avoir aucun intérêt sur les choses de Dieu. A born again who used to speak in tongues. Un lieu de nouveau qui parlait en langue. You used to attend all night services. Tu euh, fais, tu prenais pas de. You were always services. in church for Bible studies. Tu étais toujours à l'église pour l'étude de Bible. Prayer meeting, you were always there. Les réunions de prière, tu étais toujours là. What you start realizing that the fire on your prayer altar is under attack your love for God start dying down quand tu commences à te rendre compte que ton amour pour Dieu est sur attaque ton feu commence you start it then you hear many parents who make statements like church is on sunday is not on wednesday and friday vous allez entendre certains parents dire que l'église c'est seulement dimanche pas mercredi it's because your fire for God is not serious c'est parce que ton feu pour Dieu n'est pas sérieux your fire for God is not serious ton feu pour Dieu n'est plus sérieux why you quickly allow the devil to bury your prayer life. Tu as laissé très facilement que le diable puisse euh, enterrer ta vie de prière. I get what I'm saying. Est-ce que vous m'écoutez? So your love of God will be tampered with as long as your prayer life has been captured. Donc ton amour pour Dieu doit être touché aussi longtemps que ta vie de prière a été capturée. When an occultic man dies, what happens is everything that he is that is under his possession that came as a result of his occultic movement disappears, vanishes into thin air. Quand un homme qui était dans la secte meurt, tout ce qu'il a tout ce qu'il a eu à cause de cette secte doit disparaître. You know why? Because those things were buried on the altar of sacrifice, so he needs another mortal that can continue in that sacrificial altar in order to maintain that lineage and that consistency of wealth. C'est parce que toutes ces choses sont venues par sacrifice et il faut un autre un autre un être mortel pour pouvoir continuer à sacrifier pour garder ces choses. C'est bien. Number two. Deuxièmement. When the devil successfully captures uh, your prayer life. Quand le diable réussit à capturer ta vie de prière. You realize that going to church late becomes a normal thing to you. Tu te rends compte que aller à l'église en retard devient quelque chose de très normal. It's because your fire for God is under attack. C'est parce que ton feu pour Dieu est sur attaque. So you no longer see that it's a sin when you come to church late. Donc tu ne trouves plus, tu ne vois plus ça comme un péché quand tu viens à l'église en retard. It has become a normal thing to you. C'est devenu quelque chose de normal. The Bible from the beginning it was not so. La Bible dit qu'au commencement ce n'était pas ainsi. When you began your Christian journey was not like that. Quand tu as commencé ton parcours de chrétien ce n'était pas comme ça. But because of lukewarmness and you giving yourself to other activities that has no benefit to your spiritual life so the devil took advantage and captured your prayer life donc parce que tu t'es donné aux choses qui n'ont pas de bénéfice à ta vie spirituelle le diable a donc saisi opportunité à capturer ta vie de prière you now come to church late tu viens maintenant à l'église en retard and according to you is normal et selon toi c'est très normal after the pastor enter you enter après quand le pasteur entre, tu entres. You become the assistant bishop. Tu deviens l'évêque. The assistant, assistant prophetess. L'assistant du prophète. The left hand man to the man of God. The right hand. They are charging their spiritual life. Ils sont en train de charger leur vie. They are charging their spirit batteries. Ils sont en train de charger leur vie. Ils 
charger la batterie frigo. And their spirit man is capturing the words directly from the altar. Et le homme esprit est en train de capturer les paroles directement de l'autel. How do you manage to sleep under this kind of corrosive atmosphere? Comment est-ce que tu fais pour dormir sur ce genre d'atmosphère très corrosive? So brutal and colossal. Frère brutal. Number three. Troisième. When the devil successfully captures the fire on your prayer altar. Quand le diable réussit à capturer le feu sur ton hôtel de prière. You start finding it difficult to fast. Tu commences à les trouver très difficile de jeûner. When you start finding it difficult to fast, it's a sign that you have lost touch with God. Quand tu le trouves très difficile de jeûner, c'est un problème que tu as que tu n'es plus en contact avec Dieu. Some of you. Certains parmi vous, our usual 40 days annual fasting and prayer, you always carry it like nothing. Notre 40 jours de jeûne annuel, tu le fais toujours comme si ce n'était rien. I am listing out this point such that when you see this point visible in the life of a person, it's a sign that the person has backslidden, but the person is only in church, so the church is still covering the person, thinking he's a Christian. So the person just come to church to cover his or her shame, but in the realm of the spirit. The person name is not in the book of life. The person has departed already. La personne est déjà partie. To backslide does not mean that you cannot sing. Many people come to church they backslide. Plusieurs personnes viennent à l'église et pourtant ils ont ils avaient déjà rétrogradé. If you are to send some of you your back, we'll move cover bien ça. Si on doit fouiller certains de vos sacs.